Welcome everyone to this tutorial about three important measures used in council housing policy. Livable Communities Act goals, housing performance scores, and projected affordable housing need. Affordable and life cycle housing goals are negotiated between the council and cities that participate in the Livable Communities Act programs. Goals represent the number of new affordable and life cycle housing units a city thinks could be built in their community with their advocacy and support. There are no direct consequences for cities that do not meet their goals. Goals for the decade between 2021 and 2030 will be negotiated with Livable Communities Act participants in 2019. Housing performance scores are calculated every year and used in the evaluation of Livable Communities Act grant applications and regional solicitation for transportation funds. They are determined through local housing data and surveys sent to cities each year to assess the level of city support and engagement in the production and preservation of affordable housing. Scores consider a community's existing affordable housing stock, their housing policies and programs, and any new or preserved affordable housing in recent years. The future affordable housing need is the measure we will focus on for the rest of the tutorial because it is the housing measure that plays an important role in your land use plan and housing element within your comprehensive plan update. Every 10 years, the Council updates regional projections for additional households that will need affordable housing in the coming decade. For the decade between 2021 and 2030, the Council has projected that there will be 37,900 additional households that make 80% or less of the area median income and will therefore be in need of affordable housing. Based on state statute, the need number is important because the Metropolitan Land Planning Act states that cities must plan for their share of that need in their comprehensive plan. The Council calculates each community's share of that need every 10 years in preparation for their comprehensive plan update. There are a lot of misconceptions about a community's share of the region's future need for affordable housing. One misconception is that the Council distributes this number to force cities to develop affordable housing. The reality is that there is not enough funding available to meet the region's need for affordable housing but the additional families and households that are represented by the need number will be here whether we plan for them or not. The Council distributes local need numbers to acknowledge these families and allow cities to think about the tools they have available to prepare and plan for meeting those future housing needs. Another misconception is that the Council's calculation of each community's share of the need does not consider the community's existing share of affordable housing stock. In reality, the amount of a community's existing affordable housing has a significant impact on their share of the region's need. The Council initially calculates each community's share of the region's future need for affordable housing by applying the same proportion of regional growth in affordable housing need to each community. That is, regionally, 31.4% of household growth from 2021 to 2030 will be in need of affordable housing. So the first step in allocating a community's share of that need is multiplying their forecasted growth for that decade by 31.4%. Next, the Council adjusts each community's share based on two factors. First, if a community has more than the average community's share of existing affordable housing, their final need number is adjusted downward. Conversely, if a community has less than the average community's share of existing affordable housing, their final need number is adjusted upward. Second, if a community's ratio of low-wage jobs to low-wage earning residents is higher than the average community, their final need number is adjusted upward. If the same ratio is lower than the average community, the final need number is adjusted downward. The result is a community's final share of the future regional need for affordable housing. A final misconception is that the families that are represented by these numbers are not valued by this region. In reality, the households we are planning for are essential to our success. A typical two-bedroom apartment in the region rents for about $1,100 per month, which requires an annual income over $44,000 to be affordable. Yet more than half the jobs in the region pay less than $44,000 per year. Take a moment to think about your own housing choices throughout your lifetime. Was it challenging to find housing that you could afford? The challenge of finding affordable housing is something most people in the region have experienced at one time or another. We all purchase goods and services that are provided by workers who don't earn enough to pay for market rate housing affordably. 
To be a competitive region, we need a full range of housing choices that serves the needs of all the households that keep our region going. Thank you for your time watching this tutorial. For more online tutorials and other resources, please check the Planet page of the Local Planning Handbook.